you guys so I am gonna show you how I make my unicorn nails um, if you guys follow me on snapchat if you don't you should so you guys um, will be you know kind of in touch with what I'm doing you guys saw that I did some unicorn and curved nails so if you want to see how I curve the nails make sure that you click the card up above so we're gonna go ahead and get started so I'm starting with curved nails um, and I just use this macaque um, baby pink nail polish to polish the nails and I'm just gonna take a glue gun and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spread the hot glue in a diagonal motion and now you just want to press the glue gun very 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 slightly you don't want to put too much pressure on the glue gun and you're gonna kind of make a diagonal line across the nail and turn the nail as you're doing so this is just going to help better guide the hot glue don't worry um, if you do mess up all you have to do is wait for it to dry and easily peel it off um, and I'm just going ahead and doing the same thing now with the way that the camera was angled it was kind of hard for me to you know do it so I might mess up but um, you guys kind of get the gist of how to do it I've been wanting unicorn nails so bad but I don't want to go get my nails done because I braid my hair too much and you know press-ons were just a lot easier um, I'm thinking about selling some press-ons but I'm not just gonna sell them like this I'm gonna encase them in acrylic so basically I'm thinking about selling you know um, some acrylic press on nails with gel top coats over it so that of course it'll last a lot longer so basically what I'm doing is you see me going over the nail and um, the little grooves now as you um, start doing this a lot more of course you would get a little bit more better uh, or better with the hot glue gun and I'm not I'm not gonna do a smaller nail and um, this one came out a little bit better than the bigger nail um, so as you see me doing is you know placing the bulb of the um, glue gun and dragging the remainder down don't worry about the little stragglies that are on the nail once the hot glue has dried you could just easily um, you know take that away or you know pull that away from the nail if you guys want your nails to be a little bit more sharper um, all you have to do is take, um, you know, some cuticle cutters and, you know, basically cut the ends to make it a little bit sharper. I'm going to take Rockstar Pink from Sally's Hansen. It's just a thick glitter nail polish. It's very pretty. And um, I'm going to take a striper, a nail striper, and I'm just going to go over the, um, you know, the 3D horn. <laughs> now, if you... Um, if you are you know new to this which I'm pretty sure most of you are um, all you have to do um, with the glitter if you do mess up um, just cover it with glitter glitter makes everything look better you know I'm not perfect as you guys can see this one came out you know very lumpy looking but you know this is just for demonstrating purposes um, so with the bigger one I'm just gonna cover it with, gl with um, glitter nail polish you know it just makes it look a lot better and you know I, I don't know I just I like the look of a glittery unicorn horn so I'm gonna take Sally Hansen's um, nail polish and golden and I'm gonna go in between um, that smaller nail with the striper and um, this is just an old nail polish striper that I'm using um, I didn't go and buy any because why well, do that when I have plenty of nail striper polishes that you know I can use so I'm just going in between um, the unicorn nail to kind of give a little bit more of an iridescent type feel glittery type feel and now I'm just gonna go back over the um, horn bumps the horn swirls with some more glitter I am going to top it off with some clear nail polish now I would recommend if you do have a UV lamp light and some gel polish I would recommend you encasing it in gel for it to last a lot longer because this is hot glue you guys um, I have had maybe one or two of my little pieces come off but if you use gel polish or you know if you use gel polish or if you use uh, a UV lamp with gel polish 
it'll work just fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and check out my previous videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.